But you always remember you have a master in heaven that is ready to hear our prayers and communicate with us. Y'all need to hear me today. Always continue in prayer. God gives us guidance and instruction as it pertains to how we operate our lives here on earth. Amen. Amen. This is done in prayer now. How to discern situations in people. How to navigate the opposition and the opposing forces and circumstances that we face each and every day. Amen. Amen. God is, I'm hearing y'all now. I say, Bala Roshaka. God is opening doors right now. Mm -hmm. And making things manifest in the earth mm -hmm. in our lives. I'm yes. telling you right now. God opened, He already, the doors are already open. Yes. And outside and out of them doors are pouring out blessings. Mm -hmm. And them blessings come in, in whichever form that you need. And God is, He's not testing you, He's trying you to see if you will take that blessing and, and use it for its intended purpose. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. See, many of y'all are, are, are beginning to see the manifestation of, of your blessings yes. uh, showing up right at, at, at your feet. Yes, yes Lord. Lord. Amen. It's manifesting right at your feet. Mm -hmm. And you got to understand and know that now is the time, not later. The future is now. Yes, and you all have to understand that as you begin to handle your blessings, handle this manifestation, God expects for you to correct the mistakes in your life. The things you're doing wrong, straighten it out. That's right. Places you're going, you shouldn't be going, stop going. Amen. Come on now. Amen. Stop being in, immature in the things of God. Amen. Grow up. It's time to grow up. Because he's already the manifest the blessing. He's already let you know, here it is. What you gonna do with it? Come on. Huh? Amen. Come on now. Amen. See, he, he, he gives us guidance and he's gonna guide you and instruct you as it pertains on how to operate your life here on earth. Glory to God. How he gonna teach gonna teach you how to discern this situation and them people. How to navigate, how to go around, how to go through the opposition and the opposing forces that's coming at you each and every day. Amen. Now, like I said, God's opening up doors, making things manifest in the earth. Now, hey, I, now hear me, please hear me. I'm, yes, Lord, I, 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 I tell you. Some of y'all, ah, shit, what God is manifesting to you, some of y'all, he's asking you to go to another place. He's leaving, he's leaving you out of, out of here to another place. And you you fighting, not fighting, but you're trying to make a decision whether or not should I go or should I should not go. My God. Amen. You got to ask God, what is it that you would have me to do? Do I leave or do I stay? I've been through that myself. Should I go? And all these opportunities have been opening themselves up, up to me. They still call me. Look, we got a church and we need you, we need you, we need you over here. And I say, God, what's up? Sit down, boy. Sit <laughs> down. But God, God, yo, that's $80,000. You're talking about $80,000? House, car, car allowance, book allowance. They gonna pay all the bills. All I do is just preach. I'm going to run I got 40 bucks, 350 down there. You give me 80 miles, I can keep all that and get a car. <laughs> Lord. <laughs> Sit down somewhere, boy. You ain't going nowhere. <laughs> see the enemy will see the enemy will enemy will deceive you and trick you. Yes, it will. Ooh, Lord. We yes. tricks. Yes, yes, yes. Job, mm -hmm. money, mm -hmm. car, mm -hmm. house, mm -hmm. trap. Mm. Jesus. Mm. <laughs> Tell me, because what you got right now is what he, he's growing something. He's growing something. That baby that was in your belly that's six foot tall used to be, you couldn't even see it. Yeah, you have, and that ultrasound, see that joke. There you go, Joe, in there. There you go. 
Hey, right there. Ain't going on my son. It don't like no boy. Mm -hmm. hey, you see, you see, you see the, you see the thing right there. That's a, that, that. <laughs> <laughs> don't come back and be a girl. It's a girl now, 20 years old. All girl. Oh, All girl. Amen. Amen. So, as, as he speaks to us, Amen. As he speaks to us, and as he speaks to us, shall you hear me? As he speaks to us, Amen. As he speaks to us, as he speaks to us, and we walk in wisdom. Concerning the things we have been shown and taught. And you hear what I'm saying? He's going to talk to you about what you have seen and what you were taught. He's going to navigate and lead and guide you through opposition, through opposing forces. Amen. Amen. And God is redeeming the time. Let's look at this over here. Okay. Look at verse 5. That I see is uh, Colossians 4 and 5. It says, walk in wisdom, what? Whoa. Toward them. Come, come on now. Toward them that are without what? Amen. Redeeming the time. Amen. God is redeeming the time. Hear me now. The time lost in sin. He's buying back that time you lost while you was caught up in sin. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Come on, he's he, he, he redeeming the time. The time we lost, trapped and caught up in mess and temptation. Thank you. He's redeeming the time we lost in meaningless relationships. He's redeeming the time we lost confused about why we was abused, why we were mistreated. He's buying back the time we lost engulfed in debt and in sickness. Come on now. He's not come on now. He's not gonna come on. You saved now. He's not gonna let the devil have an advantage over you because of something he did to you that you didn't know he was doing to you. Amen. God's buying back that time. with the grace of God. Mm -hmm. Seasoned with salt yes. so that God can communicate with us in how we deal with those we are sent to mm -hmm. so we can present this gift of salvation through the gospel of Jesus Christ because your prayer life Come on. is your life. Amen? Amen. 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 